The question is whether BaOH2 is an acid, base, or neutral. So BaOH2, that's barium hydroxide. Whenever we have a metal here, like barium, and then we have OH attached to it, this is called the hydroxide group, and it's going to be a base. The question is whether it's going to be a strong or a weak base. So it's helpful to memorize this list here of strong acids and strong bases. These are common strong acids and strong bases, ones you'll see a lot. We looked at our list, strong bases. Here's barium hydroxide right here, BaOH2. Barium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So it's not only a base, it's a strong base. And here's what that means. If we put barium hydroxide in water, it's going to dissociate completely. That means we put it in water and it'll dissolve into barium, the barium ion. Barium's in group two on the periodic table. It'll be an ion that's two plus. We're right, aqueous here because it's dissolved in water. And then we have the hydroxide ion. Let's put it over here. That'll be OH. And the whole thing has a one minus ionic charge. We usually just write little minus like that. The two here, that means we'll have two of these. And since this is also dissolved in water, let's write A. Q, aqueous, dissolved in water after it. So barium hydroxide, we put it in water and it dissociates into the barium ion and the hydroxide ions. So therefore, barium hydroxide, it's a base and it's also considered a strong base. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.